Apple just released the RC or release candidate build of iOS 16.5 to both registered developers and to public beta testers. And along with this release, we also got the RC builds for iPadOS 16.5, macOS 13.4, watchOS 9.5, tvOS 16.5, and HomePod version 16.5. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS and a little bit about watchOS. So you can see here the size of this update came in at around five and a half gigabytes on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. It is a large update since we are going from a beta to what is essentially a final release, which is the RC build. And then as far as the build number goes, if we head into our settings, we can see that the new build number is 20F65. And that is most likely going to be the same build number as the final release, which comes out next week. And as far as the modem firmware, that is 1.70.02. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 16.5? And just 16.5 in general and the first thing is what you're looking at right now this is the new pride celebration wallpaper which also has a matching watch band and a matching watch face for the apple watch so apple announced this this morning and now in the rc build we see what that looks like and while i'm not the biggest fan of the wallpaper itself the animation is really cool so when you go to the lock screen take a look at that it moves and then once you unlock it it has a little animation there and when you go to the home screen it's very fluid and a really cool animation and also this does have a dark mode version as well so if i go ahead and switch it into dark mode you can see really the only thing that changes is the background but still it's pretty cool and you can see this is what it looks like when you lock it on the lock screen and then go to the home screen and if we head into our settings and go to wallpaper you can see that when we go to add a new wallpaper the new section that we just got last beta which was the pride section now has that new wallpaper right there and it says pride designed with the colors of the pride flag to celebrate the lgbtq plus community now also new in ios 16.5 which apple mentions in the release notes is the new sports tab so you can see we have this new sports tab down at the bottom and this pop-up is also new in the rc build specifically Specifically. So it says looking for something, search follow your favorite titles, explore new topics, and more. And then when you tap on the following section that goes away and you get the new following screen. And by the way, I've talked about it before, but the sports tab, I feel like is just kind of a plug for the TV application because when you go here, you get coverage and things like that, but you don't really get a box score or anything that would make it like a comparison to ESPN or Bleacher Report. Pretty much every time you go on here, it just says open in Apple TV and just takes you to the Apple TV application. Now, something else that was an iOS 16.5, but is not here anymore is screen recording via Siri. Now, a lot of publications and people are still saying, that this exists in 16.5 but i have not been able to get it to work on any device and you can see this is what happens every time it says either here's what i found or just that it cannot do that and whereas before on beta one i was able to say the exact same phrases and you know i've tried multiple other phrases as well and i'm just not able to screen record via siri anymore on 16.5 ever since beta 2. now also found in the code of the latest mac os 13.4 rc is a reference to new beats studio Pro headphones. So we should be seeing Apple announce these very soon as they were found in the code. Apple did also mention a bug fix for Spotlight becoming unresponsive. So if you had any issues with Spotlight before, those should be fixed with 16.5. Also, it addresses an issue where podcasts and CarPlay may not load content. And then also we have a bug fix related to screen time and it says fixes an issue where screen time settings may reset or not sync across all devices. And that just happened to me today. I was locked out of YouTube on another device where I disabled that screen time for the day on a separate device. So I haven't tested it just yet, but hopefully 16.5 does address that as it is mentioned in the release notes. And then since I keep getting asked, the select all is still not present in some Safari with 16.5. So we may not be seeing that at all again in iOS, unfortunately. And while we're here, we may as well cover the release notes for this RC build. So you can see here, Apple mentions pretty much the same thing that we've seen in the previous two builds. So the new feature is a shared administrator in a home is now able to pair and add matter accessories. And then we have four resolved issues all related to those matter accessories. And then as far as the performance and battery life goes, I just ran a Geekbench 6 test here on this RC build, and we scored a 2517 on the single core and a 6065 on the multi-core. 
Now those scores are slightly lower than what we saw in beta 4, but not really enough to make a big difference. So I would not expect any type of difference in performance going from beta 4 to the RC, really from beta 1 to the RC. Honestly, the performance has been pretty much the same the whole time. And then as far as battery life goes, again, just like I said with the performance, it's going to be about the same as it was with beta 1. There was hardly any change at all in terms of battery life from 16.4 or 16.4.1 to 16.5. So if you had bad battery drain, it might get fixed with this update, but I think most of the time the battery life, you know, bad battery life has more to do with the actual user and not the software. So not a big difference I'm seeing in 16.5 in terms of battery life, but I will continue using this throughout the week and let you know if anything has changed. I will be using this on my main device as well for the rest of this week. And I say until next week because Apple announced this morning in a press release that 16.5 is indeed coming next week, just as we predicted here on the channel a few weeks back, maybe a month ago, we predicted that 16.5 would be here on the week of the 15th. But anyways, we should see that on the 15th itself like on that day apple usually releases their public ios software on mondays so i would expect to see 16.5 get released on monday of course it could come any day next week but monday is just typically what apple does and then we could see ios 16.6 beta 1 go out as early as next week as well really as early as that same day or the next day but of course nothing has been said or confirmed yet with regards to 16.6 but just a couple weeks later a few weeks later we're going to see ios 17 beta 1 right there on june 5th again on a monday and that's because that is when the worldwide developers conference will be taking place which of course i will be live streaming here on youtube so we can all react together to all the announcements and hopefully the big headset announcement but of course ios 17 will be the focus in that live stream also today and this isn't related to ios 16.6 5, but I have to mention it because it's such big news. Apple announced Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro are coming to the iPad this month on May 23rd. So Apple's not even waiting for the Worldwide Developers Conference or iOS 17, iPad OS 17. They're bringing these pro applications to the iPad in just a couple of weeks. And as far as the requirements, Final Cut Pro requires the M1 iPad and later as expected, and Logic Pro requires the A12 iPad and later. And as far as pricing goes, both are going to cost $4.99 a month or $50 per year. So we don't have a one-time fee like we have on macOS, unfortunately. But this looks absolutely awesome. And I will be doing a video here on the channel once this does get pushed out later on this month. But that is pretty much everything in iOS 16.5, the RC build. I will go a little bit more in depth, of course, in my iOS 16.5, what's new video next week. This is just kind of a precursor, kind of a what to expect in that video coming next week. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS coverage. And do you like this wallpaper? Let me know in a comment down below if you're a fan of this wallpaper or not, or if you just like the animation like I do. That's literally my favorite part of this wallpaper. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.